Hello, recently I received a shipment of a radio from the brand XH Data, model D109WB. So, I immediately decided to test it and make a short review. My shipment arrived relatively quickly, in less than two weeks, well packed and without any consequences of transportation. Inside is the original box containing the receiver, USB-C type cable for charging and English manuals. Uh, first of all, let me describe the physical characteristics of the receiver. I have previously purchased several radios from this brand and all of them at first glance show solid and high quality workmanship. Dimensions of this device are 150 on 80 on 30 mm and radio weight is about 20, uh, 288 grams. Let's start from the back. There is support for placing the device in the appropriate position. And under it is a lithium battery with capacity of 2000 mAh branded by the manufacturer which is a guarantee of its quality. Then, on the front side, a large readable display with backlight and ergonomic, bat uh, and ergonomic buttons, including an intuitive circular part for easy control of the MP3 player and Bluetooth speaker function, as well as search function for the radio. Uh, the antenna is massive and relatively long, about 50 centimeters which is a basic equipment for good reception. On the left side, there are connectors for headphones and external antenna. And on the right side, there is a large button for searching station. Uh, and on the uh, below is discreetly placed mechanical potentiometer for volume regulation. I emphasize this as a positive detail because the digital volume control is very slow and impractical. Below is also C-type charging port. And on the bottom side there is a reset button and TF card slot. First I would like to explain the functions of all buttons. Uh, the power button is red because it is used the most, so it is easily visible. Also, the SOS button is a different color than the others for the same reason. In the, in the top row, also there are three buttons for settings the clock and alarms. Uh, display lock button. Next shortwave bandwidth and backlight button. With a long press on this button, the backlight remains permanently on. Uh, then, then is voice or music control. Uh, this or local reception mode and view memories or view frequencies button. Next comes the weather band weather alert button. Uh, shortwave plus, shortwave minus uh, band buttons. Medium wave, long wave area and FM area button. This is a numeric keypad through which we can directly enter the requested frequency. And the round part of the keyboard primarily serves to control the Bluetooth speaker 
uh, mode and uh, MP3 and other audio files player. Now let's see how the radio works. First I will test the FM band with a built-in antenna. I work in a basement and specifically here the signal is very weak but I still uh, uh, receive my favorite radio programs very well. On a well-received station, the sound is ex exceptionally clear and voluminous and low frequencies are reproduced surprisingly well for a speaker of this size. The sound intensity is quite sufficient both for listening in a room and outside in an open space. The receiver is capable of memorizing a hundred station on the FM band. A big surprise for me was variable speed tuning, which also work on shortwave bands. The slow tuning rate is 0.1 MHz and it jumps to 0.1 MHz when the knob is turned quickly. I had not experienced variable speed tuning in other radios before, so I think this is a must-have future in any digital, digital portable radio. Now let me briefly test the reception of the shortwave band. For this purpose I will use my external loop over grand antenna and antenna splitter through which I will bring identical signals to the portable radio and to this SDR radio which I will use for some kind of comparison. First let's see SDR radio. Nine five eight four megahertz. Pardon, nine five eight four kilohertz. Now the now the same signal on my radio. The same frequency. Nine five eight four. The radio has good shortwave reception only with this uh, whip antenna. Now I will search for some middle wave station. Thank you. 
And fortunately, there are no no weather reports in my region, so I have not conditions to test this future. The radio supports Bluetooth and can be used to play audio from an external device, in my case this smartphone, through its Bluetooth connection. Let's try. It also have a TF card slot for a micro SD card which can be loaded with the music and played through the radio's audio system. Sound quality is excellent. For the battery life, I can simply say that it is impressive. I've been running it using the speaker for several hours per day for near nearly a week, and the battery still shows almost full charge. And now I can say for me the most interesting part to look to look inside the radio. The rubber tabs on the bottom of the cabinet must be partially removed to disassemble the radio. Uh, in order to fully disassemble the radio, it is necessary to push in the locking clouds from inside while pulling on the knob from the outside. Obviously, everything is well organized. Uh, this is a relatively large speaker in own box, which is the reason for the good sound. I was very, very pleasantly surprised by the SI4734 radio chip used. Namely, so far, so far I have built uh, several radios with chips from this family, from the Skyworks brand, which is controlled by a microcontroller, and I can tell you that they have excellent characteristics. You can check out these do-it-yourself radios on my channel. These are Bluetooth and SD and SDR reader chips, SD card chi reader chips. A ferret antenna is large enough for good reception in the medium wave area. Behind this metal armor is large enough uh, armor is display together with the control electronics. The metal serves to block the digital noise generated by the display on the radio reception. On the other side I place the control buttons, uh, the display and small buzzer and microphone. Now let's move on, uh, move on to the other half. 
This is a small lithium battery for saving the stored stations as well as the clock and alarms and other settings in the absence of the main battery. The audio section is locating on this board. And contains the D266 chip capable of delivering 3 watts stereo output power. And all other small small chip is D4800, which is a stereo headphone amplifier. And finally a short conclusion, the XH Data D109WB is a solid little radio of an overall good build. It feels more robust than some of its competitors of the same size. The radio has excellent sensitivity and selectivity on all bands thanks to the use of the advanced SI47XX family radio chips from Skyworks. It supports Bluetooth and microSD card which can be loaded with music and played through the radio's audio systems. In short, X XH Data D109WB currently represents a best value for money.